is another exciting day, another day that we get to praise the Lord, another opportunity that we get to uplift and say thank you for all that he's done for us. And we are excited and glad about it, uh, that we get to just have and serve a mighty good God. Amen. Let us pray. Eternal God, our Father, how we thank you. For all that you've done for us, God, we thank you just for how you've kept us all week long. Now, God, we pray and ask that you would forgive us for all of our unforgiven sins. God, we pray that you consecrate our hearts and our minds. We pray, God, that you would create within us a clean heart that we could truly serve you. Now, God, we pray that you would bless this service, bless this broadcast, oh God. Bless everybody that's tuning in, their homes, their representatives. God, we pray that you just have your own way like only you can. Now, God, we pray a special blessing over us that are here. God, we pray your cover. We pray your anointing will fall fresh upon us, God, that when we declare, when we sing, when we praise, when we send out praises of worship to you, to your name, God, that someone can truly feel you and understand that you are still in control. God, we thank you again for all that you've done, how you kept us from danger, seen and unseen, how you continue to pour out the breath of life to us day after day, how you continue to give us brand new mercies each and every day. God, thank you just for sitting high, looking low, blessing us, and spite of. Now God, hear us, answer us, and we'll say thank you in advance for all that you're going to do. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone that is tuning in. Thank you to all that are uh, that have set aside this time. You can tune in anywhere, but thank you because we don't take it for granted that you chose to tune in and share with us here at the Greater Hope of the Church. Uh, I'm going to ask again before we get started, and I'll come back and I'll ask again that if we can all do our part and be a part of our outreach and evangelism ministry by going down and hitting share, hitting like, uh, start a watch party. We want to be able to reach out and touch all the ones that uh, that we can. We want to be able to declare God's word the best of our ability to reach out and touch those that may need to hear a word from on high. So please, fans and sirs, uh, hit the share, hit the like, hit the uh, watch party. We want to see those hearts, those lights flowing. Let us know that you're watching. We uh, say good morning, say amen. We see all of that. And we are so grateful that you all are tuned in and watching with us on this morning. Amen. We're going to go higher. We're going to uh, turn it over to our praise and worship team on this morning. We thank God for their presence. We thank you for their thank them for their faithfulness and how they bring and usher in the service of God and the spirit of God each and every Sunday. Not to mention the baddest person uh, on any keyboards anywhere in this nation. Amen. Dr. Glenn, Dr. Glenn, who is faithful in his service and who is here, we thank you for him as well as the choice. Amen. And his musical talents. Amen. We thank God for everybody. Uh, Dr. Sister Glenn, who's behind the cameras. Amen. We thank God for you uh, and everyone else that is here and present. Amen. Praise and worship. Amen. Take us high.
this morning and reminding us that it was God that made a way. And even for that, we should still be grateful as well. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you for worshiping and praising this morning. Amen. Amen. I'm going to pause for a quick second. Uh, just a quick reminder. Amen. Amen. We're, we have pretty good service uh, with the fewer numbers that we have. Amen. I believe that it already said when there are just two or three gathered, he's going to be in the midst. So we, we come and we have a good time in the Lord, regardless of who's in the pews. We come to praise the Lord. And we are hoping that while you're at home and while you're tuning in and while you're watching and listening, we're hoping that that is what you're doing is praising the Lord, thinking about all that he's done for you. And if nothing else, saying thank you for he made a way. Amen. Amen. Thank you again for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Uh, hit the share. Hit the like. Hit the star to watch party. Say amen. Praise and worship with us while you're at home. Amen. Uh, just a couple of quick announcements before we go higher in the Lord and hear what thus says the Lord. Uh, continue to tune in on Wednesdays. Uh, at 7 p.m. for our Bible studies. We thank God for each of you that continue to be faithful and tune in to that. Uh, we, we are trying our best and doing everything possible to ensure we keep some, some type of normalcy uh, within our church worship experience and, and continuing to be uh, allowing the ministries to uh, flourish and continue to do what's necessary. So we thank you for that. Continue to tune in as well as on Sundays. Uh, continue to be faithful and obedient in your giving. Amen. Amen. We we know, we see, we, are, we, 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 we get the reports, we understand that we have, and we thank God um, on behalf of Pastor McNeil, we thank God for all of our faithful members that continue to ensure that they're being obedient in their giving. Amen. We are thankful unto God for that. Again, that keeps ministry going. Amen. It's it feels like 145 outside. Amen. But we have the opportunity, because of your giving, to be able to come in and turn the hair on. Amen. In this place. And we're thankful for that. So continue to do that. You can do that by going to the website uh, at www.gbdallas.com and continue to be a blessing and sow a seed into this ministry and watch your seed that you sow. Uh, grow and manifest into something that God wants it to be. Amen. We're, we, I think that's all I have. Pastor, you got anything? We think we good? All right. We're going to go higher in the Lord. Listen, I'm thankful that God gives us another chance, another day to uh, praise him. I'm thankful for another chance, another day that he's just simply blessed me. And because of that, uh, I give God all the honor, all the glory, all the praise for it. if it had not been for him, uh, there's no telling where we would be. Amen. So uh, I'm going to get out of the way. I'm going to let Pastor McNeely come and bless us right after the singing of this hymn of preparation. Amen. And we're going to go higher in the Lord. Amen. Just another day that the Lord He has kept me just another day Yes, help me. 
Master Magnin. I 
opportunity, pleasure to attend Catholic school. Amen. This is back when the nuns wore the long black cossacks. They wore the bonnets on their heads, rosary wrapped around them, and walked with a yardstick for the use of discipline. And whenever the nun would see us sitting in our seat incorrectly, we get hit. Unlike nowadays, you know, but we, we were told to sit correctly, and there was a price to pay for sitting incorrectly. And we would get popped for sitting incorrectly, said I mean, nun said, because what you're doing, your posture is not correct, and it could affect you later in life with back problems and some of everything. So the seat was designed for your back to be against the back rest and your butt in the seat. That was the correct posture. When I went on to high school and became a member of the band at Lincoln High School, there was a correct posture that we had to maintain for playing our instrument, especially if you were playing a brass or woodwind instrument. That was a correct posture. And, and, and as Christians, there is a spiritual posture that we must take and maintain while we're running this race. Paul here, first of all, says, be careful for nothing. In other words, don't take anything for granted. Amen. How many of us went to bed last night and took it for granted that we would wake up this morning? Somebody, somewhere, closed their eyes on last night, not realizing and took it for granted, or oh, I wake up in the morning not realizing that somewhere between the dawn and the end of the day, their lives would be required of them. Amen. One must maintain the correct spiritual posture in order for God to bless him spiritually and to work with him spiritually. Yeah. Amen. Paul just says, don't take it for granted. Don't, 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 don't make the difference because tomorrow is tomorrow is given to you. He says, don't, don't take it for granted. Amen. So many people take this for granted. I've heard it. Well, yeah, it'll happen to them, but that won't happen to me. How do you know that? How do you know? Oh, yeah, they rob so and so, but they won't rob me. How do you know that? Oh, yeah, they, they assaulted uh, sister so and so, but that won't happen to me. How do you know this? You can't take things for granted. Amen. All of us are subject. Amen. I, I, I believe somebody said that the Lord reigns on the just as well as the unjust. I wish I had help in here this morning. I, I read somewhere where it says that God has no respect of person. Am I right about it? Uh, amen. Just like uh, those that are wicked are subject to bad things, we that are saved are just as subject to bad things happening in our life. Uh -huh. Therefore, we can't just take it for granted that just because it happened to them, it won't happen to us. Yeah, yeah. He said, don't take it for granted. Be careful for nothing. He said, but through prayer. Prayer is such an important, yes, essential part of Christian living. If you don't pray, the devil will do a number on you that you can't imagine. The prayerless live sinful lives thinking they're living righteous. The prayerless live reckless lives not realizing his grace, mercy, and goodness that's holding them while they're living reckless lives. The prayerless those that believe down in their hearts that they can make it without God, who needs religion? Who needs salvation? The prayerless 
are those that will bow to anything and stand up for nothing. Yeah, yeah. Proudest are those that are reckless in their lives and have no connection with God and come to find out the only time they will pray is when they're delivered or when there's some things taking place they can't handle. Paul here says, through prayer, that, that, that powerful element that God left us, that powerful element that God gives us to use on a day-to-day -day basis, that powerful element that will make the devil leave us alone. Prayer. He says, through prayer and supplication. Supplication means a continuous extreme asking. Now you gotta realize through prayer that our free response, we cannot demand anything of God. There are three responses yes, no, or wait a little while. And through our supplication, we put ourselves in a position. Well, we're all but begging God to bring to pass that which you're asking him to. But it takes continuous prayer, it takes continuous being on our knees, continuous communing with the Spirit of God. Yeah, yeah. These things come to pass. So he says through prayer and supplication. In other words, don't just come to God any kind of way. You know, we got some people that do that. They enter into the house of prayer, you know, they enter into the house of prayer hard, hard. Yeah. They enter into the house of prayer with hidden agendas. They, hidden, they come into the house of prayer not for praise, but for hell raising. Yeah. They enter into the house of prayer not for lifting up the name of God, but for getting what they want when they want it and how they want it. I wish I had help. Wow. Yeah, sure. You should be careful how you present yourself. When you come into the presence of the Lord, come before him with prayer. Come with supplication, realizing that you're not just here because you're here, but it's because of his grace and his mercy. That you are not careful for nothing. And realize that you need the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Prayer is that element that keeps us on the battlefield. It strengthens us on the battlefield. Prayer is that, that, that element that fixes it where well that when we think that God has forsaken us, we can go down in prayer and through the Holy Ghost, he assures us, I have not left you, no have I forsaken. This is the posture. Be careful for nothing. Be prayerful and let supplication be with your prayer. This is the posture of the child of God. God bless you and God keep you. I hope the prayer is something to say that would help us along the way. God is such a good God. So faithful. And even when we faithful to him. He's still faithful to us. Until we see him the next time. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord let his confidence be upon you. The Lord bless you up right to your down city where you're going to come. Lord and Savior be upon you. Thank you for watching. We hope to see you again next week. Let's not forget Wednesday Bible study at 7 o'clock. We'll be back with you again. Until then, be safe, be blessed.